Charting is an absolute nightmare that causes PAs, NPs, and doctors to spend most of their time typing into a computer instead of having quality face-to-face -face interactions with patients. Charting can be such a burden that it's a contributing factor to provider burnout and is actually part of the reason that people are being driven from medicine. But can you imagine a world where as a medical provider, you go into an encounter, you never have to chart a single thing, yet your note is instantly completed as soon as you walk out the door and you've never had to employ a scribe. <gasps> Sounds incredible and impossible, doesn't it? But the technology already exists that's going to make this a reality. So what technology am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about artificial intelligence or AI for short. And unless you've lived under a rock lately, you've probably heard people talking about ChatGPT and other AI-driven programs. So let's take a closer look at that technology and understand what it is before we talk about how it will change charting forever. Now, AI refers to computer systems that can perform tasks that would usually require human intelligence, such as understanding natural language, recognizing images, and making decisions based on data. These AI programs use something called NLP, or natural language processing, that enables computers to understand and interpret human language. NLP works by breaking down language data into individual components, such as words, phrases, and sentences. It then applies various techniques, such as machine learning and statistical modeling, to analyze and understand the meaning and context of the language and it does all of this instantaneously. Currently, programs like ChatGPT use this NLP technology to already do complex things like write college-level essays on any topic you can imagine, build business plans, and create powerful PowerPoint presentations all on their own. But AI with NLP is infinitely more powerful than any of these examples, and it certainly has the ability to be able to accurately produce an electronic medical record. In other words, a machine will be able to watch and listen to our patient interactions and complete a medical record without us typing a single letter. So here are some examples of how AI can do that. First, it uses data extraction. So AI can automatically search through patients' records and extract information like what medications they've taken, what allergies they have, any previous diagnoses and surgical histories and family history and put it into the note for you for that day. Now, yes, I know this already exists in EMR systems, but that's really just carrying over lump data. There is no intelligence behind it. AI has the power to sort through all of that data and only pull out the relevant history not all that fluff that takes up the space and makes it difficult to actually find the truly important information in a note. Number two, AI uses voice recognition. Now here's where it gets really interesting. During the visit, the computer will record the conversation using a digital recording device or a speech to text program like Dragon, which by the way, works so much better than it used to if you haven't used it lately. They have started incorporating this NLP and it is fabulous. Anyway, the audio file or the text transcript is then automatically uploaded to AI-powered platform that uses the large language model. It will analyze the conversation and extract the key important data and use that to generate a concise HPI. It will already have been programmed to understand what the important parts are and put it in a logical sequence. Now, what's fabulous about that, besides the fact that it does it automatically, is that, you know, how many times have we missed things because we're busy charting something or looking up something in the computer and we miss what the patient said, or we mishear what they say or misunderstand what they say? And how many times are you trying to recreate that HPI hours later when it's lunchtime or at the end of the day and you're trying to finish the charts? Having the machine automatically record and summarize what was said really improves the chance of that HPI being completely accurate and useful in coming up with a diagnosis. Now you may think the HPI is kind of the easy part is really just putting something in a paragraph, but then the AI can take all that information from the HPI and everything that was asked and it can fill out the review of systems for you. 
No more clicking all of those little buttons or using templates that are not accurate for what we actually ask the patient. And then for the physical exam, I imagine at this point it would be almost like when you're working with a scribe that you'll have to describe what you're seeing or doing during the physical exam. So the AI system can fill out the physical exam portion. But that's not difficult and it's nothing more than many providers are doing right now. Plus, it's easy to imagine a point where the computer is just watching the exam and automatically figuring out things like saying that the patient has full range of motion when they're moving their shoulder around, or if you're palpating and the patient is kind of grimacing in pain, it can note that and understand what that means. I imagine that we're going to start incorporating more and more technology into our physical exam so that our stethoscopes, otoscopes, and ophthalmoscopes are actually connected to the computer and the computer can see what we're seeing or hear what we're hearing and then interpret it. Now, I know many people's first reaction to that is concern that the computer will actually be able to interpret the physical exam findings correctly. But there's a few things to remember. One is that these programs have machine learning and they are taught what to look for based on uploads of hundreds and thousands of pieces of data. For example, let's look at the tympanic membrane exam. Medical AI machines will have had thousands of images with explanations uploaded into their memory, plus all of the text related to problems that can happen with the tympanic membrane. Now, can you say the same for yourself? Can you say that you're 100% confident in your interpretation of a tympanic membrane, especially when it's something different than what you're seeing most of the time? Plus, for AI systems, the learning never ends. It is constantly being updated with the newest and latest information available. And you may also argue that the art of a good physical exam also takes into account the HPI findings. Well, the same thing will happen with the AI system. It's already heard the HPI. It's already interpreted. It's already formulated differential diagnoses. And then it's taking this extra bit of information and adding it all together. And because you're only human, it's probably already included some differential diagnoses that you haven't even thought of. Now, I'm not exactly sure what will happen to replace palpation, but I'm sure something will be developed. And I can imagine it might even be replaced by some kind of handheld ultrasound that will routinely be employed in all practices with immediate interpretation already done by the computer. So that takes care of the HPI, the ROS, and the physical exam. So let's look at the rest of the note. So what happens when it comes to the assessment and plan? Well, you guessed it, AI shines there as well. AI will use all of the data it gathered throughout the visit, incorporate that with all of the medical history it's already looked through in the note, take into account any lab results and the physical exam, and then generate potential differential diagnoses ranked by their likelihood. The provider can then review that list of differential diagnoses and use their medical knowledge and expertise to make a final diagnosis. What's also cool is that if the AI comes back with a differential diagnosis and there's something on there that you were not all that familiar with, it can provide you information and resources to help you become better associated with that particular diagnosis or even treatment option. So what about the treatment plans? Well, again, this is starting to sound redundant, but the AI has taken into account everything in that patient's chart. Their age, their allergies, their comorbidities, their response to previous treatments, their insurance and what it covers. And they use all of that with the differential diagnosis and the findings from that visit to come up with individual treatment plans for the patient. And again, a provider is still necessary to review and determine if they agree with that plan and if it makes medical sense and then make any modifications as needed. AI is certainly not infallible, especially now in its infancy, but I would venture to say its assessment and plan is probably going to be more accurate and complete than those of many providers. Next comes billing, and I'd have to guess that most of us are probably just giving those billing codes our best guess and moving on. Well, with AI, all of that will be done instantaneously. It will have already recorded everything, including the time taken in the visit and it will automatically assign the correct billing codes. And because it doesn't forget anything and it knows all of the different codes and the criteria to meet those codes, it will capture all of the possible codes for that visit, 
greatly improving reimbursement from insurance companies. And lastly, another cool thing that the AI can do is create an even more condensed summary of the visit. How many times have you tried to go through somebody else's chart? A patient has seen a specialist or even someone else in your practice and you're trying to get up to speed before you see them. And there's so much fluff in those charts that it's really hard to find the information you need. Well, the AI can go through all of that in a matter of seconds, produce a concise summary of each visit. This summary can be added to the EMR and shared with other healthcare professionals that are involved in the patient's care. This would be so great. Imagine not having to scroll through these really long charts, trying to find the information you need. Instead, you'd have two or three paragraphs that's a concise summary of what happened in that visit and what the treatment plan is and what the rationale for the treatment was. So overall, AI charting will allow us to spend better quality face-to-face -face time with our patients instead of having our faces buried in a computer most of the visit and it will produce more accurate and useful chart notes that will help improve continuity of care. So then the question becomes, when will we see this technology come to our rescue and end our charting nightmares? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that it's going to be very soon. It is on the horizon and companies are working on it right now, but medical charting requires a high level of accuracy and errors in charting can lead to some serious consequences like death. Therefore, it is crucial to ensure that any technology used in medical charting is thoroughly tested and validated before deployment. Now, after all of that happens, then it will be rolled out to us and hopefully deliver us from the charting nightmare that we live in. Now, this is going to be a series of videos that I have on AI and healthcare. In the next video, I'm going to talk about other ways that AI is going to change healthcare in general. And then the last video, I'm going to discuss the future of healthcare and what it means for healthcare providers. Are we going to remain relevant? Are we going to have our jobs replaced by artificial intelligence? So if this topic interests you, then keep an eye out for these upcoming videos. And once I do release them, they'll be available here where you can just click through to them. Thanks for watching. As always, take care, stay sane, and I'll see you next time on The Medicine Couch. Bye.